Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to briefly go over um, a couple of new developments in my budget. Um, I did not write out a formal budget this time, but I did want to touch bases on a couple of things real quick before I get into the cash stuffing. So, um, things are getting really crazy this year. And I've noticed there's been a difference as far as the atmosphere at my job. So what I decided was that my budget is going to change and that I need to really focus right now on getting my car paid off. Um, just in case I might have to make a, a leap, you know, kind of like a leap of faith out the door into another job. That I need to make sure that I'm not carrying any debt. Um, right now, um, I am an essential employee, um, but things have gotten really crazy as far as the internal work environment is concerned. I don't know if the shift is going to turn out for the better or for the worse. Right now, all I can tell you guys is that things are changing. So I don't know for 100% sure or fact that it's going to be a good change. So what I need to do is go ahead and be prepared for the worst, I feel like. And so I need to focus on getting all debts paid off. So I'm not carrying anything just in case I have to leave. So right now, I owe $4,505.96 on my car left. Um, I checked out, that is the payoff through May, I think the 9th. I will not be able to pay all that off right now, but I am going to sink a lot of money, as much money as I can, um, into paying this this total off. So then next I can focus on paying my house off. So um, the only reason why I'm bringing this up now is, like I said, I didn't do a formal budget, but I did want to come on here and give that side note. So the next time I do budget, you guys will kind of be on the update as far as what's transpiring with my new budget. Um, like I said before, understand this, guys, that don't think your budget is going to stay the same. Anything is liable to change, and you always have to be able to be able to adjust and change with it. So you never know what's going to go on. But I am going to, let me get a pen real quick, guys. I am going to make a car payment um, of, and my normal payment is two seventy five eighty one. So that balance will change. So I did call up, like I said, that is the payoff balance. And I'm going to put a side note at the bottom, guys, that the daily interest accrues at $0.60. Cents. So I am going to just side note that at the bottom. Um, daily interest. And I'm also going to put as... Um, I'm going to say about $25 is the interest payment. I just kind of estimate it because you know how whenever you get a payoff, it's only good through a certain amount of time. So um, I just want to kind of keep a rough balance on what I'm paying down so I kind of know what's left. So um, I'm going to just put 20, $25 interest. So I know that it's going to be like 25 less on each payment that I'm making, if that makes any sense. So, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make my car payment on Saturday, but I'm going to just go ahead and write out, let me see, Saturday's day is, I think, the first. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a payment on the first, which would be, I'm going to put 5-1. I'm going to move this, well... Okay, so we're going to do, and this is how I'm going to track it. So I'm going to do 5, 1, 21, and I'm going to do a uh, payment of 275, 81. So I'm going to do 4,505.96 minus 275. 81 minus, I'm going to just, like I said, the rough estimate is $25 that they'll take for the interest payment. That way I can keep track of what I owe. So let me do that really quick, guys. So 
let's see, 4505.96 minus 275.81, and then minus out that $25. So, 4205.15 is what I should, what should be left. So, I'm going to put that balance here. I'm going to put it right here on the side, guys. So, 4,205.15. So, I just wanted to side note that. I know it probably will be more um, left than that as far as the payoff is concerned. But, this is how I'm going to keep track of it so I know how close I'm getting to getting my car paid off. Once I get that car paid off, then I am going to focus on paying my house off. That way I will be completely debt free as far as the major bills. So anyway, let's get into this video guys. I just want to notate that really quick with you guys. Um, I am going to start putting more, like I said, towards my car. So it's going to be a few things that I'm going to focus on. Medical slash surgery and my car my house, and then emergency and savings. So those are the major ones that I'm going to focus on. Everything else right now can take a back burner because, like I said, uh, the debt needs to be taken care of because I don't know how work is going to go. Um, my job is not in jeopardy, but my sanity is at jeopardy. So if that makes any sense, guys, you know, leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm just curious if anyone else is experiencing that. Um, really, to be honest, 2020 was rough as far as health-wise is concerned with the world. But what I'm noticing, guys, is 2021 is the year. This is the year from heck. And it just seems like everybody has kind of lost their minds. And because things are shifting and changing at work, some of my coworkers are not adjusting very well. I can say that. Me personally, I'm able to grab my energy and stay calm, but others don't have that capability and therefore it makes a very different environment, I will say, as far as how comfortable it is to work in that environment. Um, like I said, I'm personally fine, but everybody around me, it's kind of like I'm in the eye of a hurricane or a tornado and everybody else is swirling around like losing it and I'm trying to stay calm and I really don't know if I want to work in an environment like that so if you guys are experiencing anything like that what I described leave me a comment down below I'm just curious on if anyone else is experiencing this so anyway I rambled on enough let's get into video real quick and like I said I did not do a full budget this time I'm just going to stuff some of my envelopes and I'll show you guys what I'm stuffing so this is what I'm working with right now this is for the end of April this is not gonna be my full check like I said this is just the envelopes I'm stuffing on here and the next time I come on to do a budget I'll actually do a budget as far as um, what I'm gonna be paying out in bills so I'm only going to stuff $161 okay so um, mine is first I'm gonna give myself $10 and like I said, some of these envelopes, you will see the amounts go down. I'm not going to keep the same budgets that I have been keeping. So, Mama Cat, I will still give her 20. I don't feel like I need to punish her just because I decided to change my budget. So, I'm still going to give her 20. And plus, um, some of that, the $20 she will use on her groceries at her house. So... Um, I'm fine with that and plus I also help her too with her groceries as well her grocery budget but like I said I'm still gonna keep hers as 20 I'm going to keep my groceries at 20 this is not my full grocery budget this is just the amount that I budget for besides um, like any other grocery store like I said before if you're watching my videos besides Walmart Walmart groceries I have a Walmart card that I put that on for points and any other grocery store besides Walmart is, this is where the 20 entails. Okay, eating out, I'm still going to give myself 40. 
Um, I have been eating out again. I know before I was talking about how it was hard to get people to wait on you, but um, lately, for the most part, I've been eating out a little bit more, and I haven't had any issues, so I'm going to keep it at 40 right now. Beauty, I am going to give that $1. Um, I still have some money in Beauty, and right now, Beauty is not my major priority. Um, I still want to, like I said, get my Fenty Beauty, but right now I have enough to last me until I run out and I need to really focus, like I said, on paying my car off and other things. So this not this is not like a top priority right now for me. Okay, next I'm going to move down to medical and medical, let me see, what am I going to give medical? Medical, I'm going to give that $20. Um, medical is the one I keep in Girly, and that's the one that I get prescriptions at um, from Target. Well, the CVS and Target. So I'm still going to keep that at $20. Clothes, I'm going to give myself $5. Because you always want to account, you know, um, if you need something new for work, um, anything can happen to like my work clothes. So I need to make sure I always have money in there as well. So I'm going to move down to medical. Let's see. I'll move this out of the way real quick. Okay. So I'm going to move down to medical slash surgery. Um, we still have a good bit of medical um, procedures that need to be done. So I'm going to still fund that one and give that just ten dollars okay mama miscellaneous this is for something that um, I'm helping my mom save up for and she does not know yet um, it's something that she needs to purchase so I'm going to um, save up the money and then surprise her with it so I'm going to still fund that one but I'm only going to give it five dollars really she does not need to get the item until probably next year so I have plenty of time to put more money into that one, but other things have to take precedence over this envelope at this point. Birthdays, I am going to give that $5. And I'm also going to give Christmas 5 as well. And emergencies, I am going to keep that at 20 You never know when you do have an emergency, so I want to um, make sure I have money in there. So I have something to fall back on if something, God forbid, happened. Okay. So like I said, I am going to be stuffing 160 So let me get the money and my envelopes real quick, guys. So let's get our money tray. I think I'm going to put the money tray on this side. And that way... Let me see if y'all can see all that. Okay. So let's get our money real quick and count it. Like I said, I should have 161. So here's my money here. So that's 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 9, 60, and 1. So that is 161. And let's arrange it on our money tray. I did order a tray from Amazon, so that won't be in until about... Um, I want to say June sometime. So I'm just going to use this for right now just to keep the money in place. I don't feel like chasing the bills all over the counter. And then that should be our ones. Okay. So let me grab Girly and then we will get to stuffing. Sorry guys, I thought I had Girlie with me, but I had to reach back and get her. Okay, 
So mine is first, so I'm getting the 10. So that single 10 is mine. I'll move all this up real quick here. And let me put my 10 in. I did decide to cut my, uh, my budget in half. I don't really spend a lot of money anymore. The only thing I've been spending money on is um, whenever I do my reviews of you guys' channels as far as your Etsy shops. So I don't mind spending money on there, and I'm not going to cut that budget. But I did decide to cut mine because I don't really need to spend a lot of money on myself. So here's the 10. I'm going to fold in half. And let's see, I'm going to grab my folder. Well, my, not my folder, but my envelope and stick it in Angel Baby. Okay, next I'm going to stuff Mama Cat. Let me grab her envelope really quick, guys. And I will give her, okay, there's hers. And she gets a single 20. I don't break hers up because as soon as I give that to her, she kind of spends it. So it's no point in me trying to break her money up. And when I see her next time, I will give that to her. All right, next is groceries, and grocery is going to get 20. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I broke grocery down. I think I, I'm going to give it four fives. So, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And you know what? I am going to split this up. And I'm going to put half in the main part and half in the back part just in case I don't use all of it so let's flip to groceries where is groceries oh I forgot see I forgot I changed out envelopes I was confused so that's groceries right there and I don't have two parts anymore so I lied so I'm just gonna put all of it in the main part okay that's 5 10 15 and 20 for groceries and we'll just slip that right on in. Okay, next is eating out, and that's going to get 40. So, for eating out, I'm going to give it... Hold on one second, because I think I did a breakdown of that one. Yeah, I want to break that one down. Okay, so for eating out, I'm going to give it seven fives and five ones. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is one, two, three, four, five. So, we will count it to make sure we have the right amount. Okay, so it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 7, 30, 8, 30, 9, and 40. So eating out gets 40, so let's flip there real quick. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, do I want to split this up? Hmm. No, I'm not going to split it up. I'm just going to go all that in the main part. So, and that's almost too thick for the envelope, but we're going to make it work. Let me smush it down a little bit. Hold on, guys. I'm fighting with the envelope today. Okay. So, Beauty is going to get one whole dollar. So, I'm going to grab one and flip to Beauty. And put the dollar in. I do have some money still in there. So I still have the seven. I haven't used that. And then we're going to add one. So that's going to be eight dollars in there. That's five, six, seven, eight. And stick them beauty. Okay, next is going to be medical. And like I said, that's going to be for prescriptions. And that's going to get four fives. So let me go to medical. Let's see. Where are you at? Did I pass it? I did pass it. Right here. Ok, 
Okay, so that's going to get four fives. Okay, so that's going to be five, oh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I did, um, just to let you know, for a side note, guys, I went ahead and cashed in some of my points off of Fetch. And because this is my first time really cashing those points in. Um, so I cashed in $5 worth of points. So I'm going to see how that works. Um, I do have the, they sent it to you in your email. And so I'm going to print it off. And I'm going to try to use it next time I go get a prescription. So if I'm able to use the $5 off, and hopefully I won't have trouble with them scanning it, I will take 5 out and then I can put that 5 to something else. So I will let you guys know um, whenever I use it if it worked. And if so, you guys really need to get on board with the fetch thing. you know. And I will put my code in the description just in case you guys want to get free 2,000 points for a startup. It might actually be worth it for you just to scan your receipts. Okay, so next, I'm going to give five to close. And I'm going to grab confetti. And I am going to do five $1 bills in that. So let's go to close in here. Okay. So we'll do five ones. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna double check this because these are really crisp ones. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna put those in clothing. And I don't have anything in there. So like I said, I need to keep some money in for clothing just in case for work. Okay. Next is medical slash surgery, and that is going to get $10. And let me, let me grab that envelope. What did I do with it? Oh, oh my gosh, it's right next to me. I'm looking all over the place. I'm very unorganized today. Okay, so let me grab the surgery envelope. see okay and I don't have anything in there right now so that is going to get ten dollars and how did I break that down ten ones okay so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and I will double check that is one two three four five, that's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'll stick that in there. And like I said, we still have a couple of procedures to go through and I have to go to the doctor too. So I still need to stuff this one. And we have mama miscellaneous. So that is going to get five dollars. Trying to put this where you guys can see it too. Let me see. Okay, so that's going to get five dollars. And let me grab her envelope. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna give that one five dollar. Let's get that one. And let's see how much we have in there right now. So right now in her envelope we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and that's going to be 75, 76, 77. So I'm going to record that really quick so I can keep track of it. Okay, $77, and we did plus 5. I just added that in, and today is... Let's see, four twenty nine, I think. Okay. And that one I'm trying to get to six hundred. Like I said, she doesn't need the money until next year, so I'm not going to stress out too much because other things need to take top priority over this one. All right. So 
Birthdays is next. Let me grab that one. And like I said, this one's going to be 300 So birthdays, I'm going to give that five. And I'm going to do five ones. So that's one, two, three. That's four. And that gets the last one. That's five. Is that right? I hope that's right because I think I'm missing some money. But we'll see in a minute. I might have had it right. Okay, so I should have 70 in there now. Let me count it real quick. That's 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So that should be 75. So 70, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 75. So let me add the 5. So it's going to be 75 and birthdays right now. Stick all that back in there. Okay, Christmas. I'm going to give that $5. Okay. And Christmas, I'm going to cap that off at $300 as well, like birthdays. And let's count what we have in there now. We should have $75. That's $20, $40, $60, $65, $70. That's 1 2 three, four, 75. So we're going to add five to that. So that's going to make it 80. Okay. I'm going to stick that five in there and we add five to that $80 on 429. Okay. And in theory, if I have calculated everything right, I should have $20 left for emergency. So let's see if I add it right. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, very good. So I have 20 for emergency. Let me grab that one really quick. Okay, I keep emergency in confetti. So... Let's flip back here. Okay, I have one single $20 bill and disregard that. I have to um, adjust that. That's, that total isn't right. So we're going to add 20. So that should be 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And I will adjust that later because I have to figure out how to get that. Um, it's that old marker off that I was struggling with. So I might have to end up throwing that, that tracker away. But I'll see if I can get it off. So anyway, guys, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, if you did, give me a big thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below. Like I said, if you don't want to comment about the things going on um, at your job or anything like that, just say hello. I love talking to you guys. And if you're not subscribed, it's free, guys. So hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I upload the next video. I love you guys. And thank you for watching my videos and giving me so much love and support on my channel. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and next time meaning tomorrow on Friday's game. So Friday game night, we will be jumping out here and playing some games with you guys. And you're more than welcome to play along, ride along with me. All right. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.